Greetings, everyone. My name is Caps Lock Prime. A few weeks ago, I asked Discord users on Hunger the Let's Plays channel to draw their very own legendary fake mod. Since then, I've received some interesting designs. Here's what we've come up with. First up, Quent sends in... <laughs> Ner Nerkataus? Yeah, nah. The mouthful Pokemon. It's a water dragon. Its ability is Swift Swim, with its hidden ability being Berserk. HP is 60, attack is 180, defense is 40, special attack 160, special defense 40, speed 180. It's... <laughs> I like that it's a glass cannon, uh, but that name... This one here is Illuminacho by Haifa Nuts. I don't think he was being very serious about this, but uh, then again, not many of you guys were. I didn't get stats, abilities, or anything, so we're only left to wonder about this majestic creature, what its backstory is, what region it comes from, what it could possibly be referencing. Guess we'll never know. Moving on. And here we have Scrimbladda, the What the fuck are you Pokemon by Soles the Demon. Its ability is of claws, hidden ability is Marvel Scale. It has 135 HP, 110 attack, 100 defense, 60 special attack, 100 special defense, and 50 speed. Solus, what the fuck is this thing? Asking for a friend. This one is Griffomet. The unfortunately named Pokemon by the equally unfortunately named XX McDoopuddle XX. Griffomet is an ice dark type, and its ability is Comet's Grace, which reduces damage from special attacks, however, it doubles the damage from rock type attacks. Once every 301 years, one of these Pokemon are born from fallen comets into an orbit. It's been known for its screeching to cover surrounding areas in frost and snow. Its stats are 105 HP, 70 attack, 70 defense, 160 special attack, 145 special defense, and 130 speed. Again, you guys need to work on your names. The first of two entries by Rube Dolphin, we have Sassalope, the good vibe Pokemon. It is a fairy grass type. Its ability is Grassy Surge, with a hidden ability of Unburden. Its signature move is Parting Dash, which is a 100 base power physical grass move with a 30% chance to flinch, and it switches the user out. HP is 110, attack is 120, defense is 125, special attack is 70, special defense is 100, and its speed is 75. That special move isn't going to do very much for a slow Pokemon. And the second of Rude Dolphin's fake mon, we have Jersubus, the bad vibe Pokemon. It is a dark flying type with the abilities Flash Fire and Unnerve as its hidden ability. Its signature move is Cindering Main, which I'm told is like toxic spikes, but it burns. So does that mean opponents can get badly burned if you use it twice? You know what? Let's go with it. HP is 75, attack is 100, defense is 70, special attack is 125, special defense is 120, and speed is 110. That signature move is evil. Oh, I see what you did there. This legendary is the first of three to be made by Dorkin Space, who also made the music you're hearing now. Check him out when you get the chance. This Pokemon right here is Gryferium, the Order Pokemon. It is a normal flying type, with its signature move being called Orderly Energy Beam. It's a 100 power, normal type move, with a 50% chance to harshly lower all of the opponent's stats. It's basically ancient power, but good. Next up, we have Tumultura, the Chaos Pokemon. It is a Ghost Dark type, with the signature move Chaotic Soulbind, which is 60 power, and as the artist describes it, it's like Bind, but it also sets up Destiny Bond for as long as the Bind lasts. 
And lastly, out of Dorkin Space's Fake Mon Trio, we have Jesterel, the Balance Pokémon. This is the one I've got the least amount of information on. I believe it's a fairy type, but unfortunately, I did not get too much data on any of these Pokémon. He was, however, the only person to submit Shinies for his Pokémon, and that is quite a commendable effort. Thank you, Dorkin. Now we come to Fakemon created by yours truly. The first one we have is Golnaga, the Snake King Pokemon. It's a Steel Dragon, its abilities are Shed Skin, and its hidden ability is Gold Rush, which has a 25% chance to pick up a Nugget or Big Nugget during battle. Its Pokedex entry reads, Every year, the snake sheds its golden skin, and the snake skin is melted down and turned into nuggets. This year, the harvest was a little over 19 million so far. Stat-wise, its HP is 151, its attack is 100, its defense is 135, special attack is 107, special defense is 156, and speed is 72. Finally tonight, we have Bumble Bump the Pink Elephant Pokemon, designed by yours truly with help from anonymous user who gives a shit on VP. Bumble Bump is a fairy bug type. Its ability is Own Tempo, with its hidden ability being Madman, where every physical attack has a 30% chance to confuse the opponent. Its signature move is Stinging Trunk. The Pokemon shoots stingers out of his trunk. Each one does something different. It is a 25 attack power and 100 accurate physical move, it hits between 3 to 5 times, and each successive hit has a 20% chance to cause paralysis, burn, freeze, sleep, or toxic in that order. Bumble Bump is a scrap design for a Gen 9 game from Game Freak Headquarters. Originally, it was a prototype design in a little-known Gen 2 prototype build. I don't know which one because there are so many of them. It was going to be introduced with a new form, but when word got out about Bumble Bump's leak, they sent the Nintendo Ninjas to C&D, the VP user who leaked it to the public. God bless you, anonymous VP leaker. F. And that's all we have time for today. Thank you to everyone who submitted designs, and hopefully we can do this again next year. Vote for your favorite legendary down below. As always, have a great night, and I will see you next time.